So before the students can play on their instruments, it's really critically important that we set up the proper posture for playing. A couple of fundamentals still always in place. One, we want to set it up so that the body remains open and relaxed. Um, two, particularly in the hands um, and wrists, we want to make sure that we're not creating points of tension. Um, this leads to things like tendonitis and focal dystonia that can cause issues for students in the long run, not just as players, but as people. So when we're looking at the trumpet, um, the weight of the trumpet is primarily sustained by the left hand. Um, as you pick it up, um, you're going to notice that there is a thumb hook and there is a finger ring. Uh, for most players, their uh, ring finger is going to go in that ring hook. For young players, it could be their pinky. Um, many horns have an adjustment on them. This one does not happen to have an adjustment. This one is fixed. Uh, but if it has an adjustment, we can move that ring in and out to make it so that it's comfortable for the student. So the hand just goes in, thumb goes right around the side, um, the pinky um, just hangs out. Ten, students all have a tendency to want to wrap it underneath. We want to avoid that because that makes it difficult for us to move that ring, um, which we need to play with intonation. So we just let that just kind of hang out up there. Likewise, we want the thumb resting um, comfortably in there. The other two fingers just wrap around. Um, when we start talking about the right hand, um, the right hand goes on top of our valves and we number them one, two, and three. Three. Um, one is index, two is middle, three is our ring finger. When we're placing the fingers there, we want our hand to be in a basic C shape. Nice and comfortable. You'll actually notice that my right hand also has, or left hand, also has that same C shape. So no funky angles all of a sudden coming in, nothing that's creating tension. You'll notice that there's this finger loop here. This is specifically for uh, marching band. Um, and other applications where we might do one-handed playing, think uh, a, a pep band situation or a jazz setting. Um, in general, we want to encourage our students not to place their finger there and either place it on top or even better, just let it free float. Uh, the tendency beginning students will get is to use that to create pressure to pull the instrument into the face. So as we have our fingers set, the thumb is just positioned right between um, the first and second valve. Um, again, there's going to be a tendency to want to put it all the way over here. We want um, against the first valve on the outside. The problem is, is once I try to use the finger slide, my finger now gets stuck. So if you can encourage your student's thumb just resting underneath the lead pipe, fingers, one, two, three on top, pinky just hangs out and does its thing. So as we set up our posture as brass players, um, or as trumpet players, uh, we want to make sure that we're always bringing the instrument to us. So think about the uh, fundamentals of good posture. Shoulders are lined up over the hips, the head is relaxed, um, and then we bring the instrument up to our face. What you'll see many young players do is bring the instrument up most of the way and then gooseneck it forward. The problem is, is that we've now created tension in the neck. So set the, or set the posture and bring it up. You'll notice that as I play, um, the instrument is not parallel to the ground. Every player is going to be a little bit different, but for 95% of players, uh, the instrument's going to have a slight decline uh, towards the floor, which is perfectly and absolutely acceptable. Um, as we bring the instrument to the face, the, ombre, the mouthpiece is going to be positioned roughly half and half on the lip, uh, top lip to bottom lip. Again, there's a little bit of variation uh, between players. There are great players who play one-third and two-thirds. There's great players who play two-thirds and one-third. Uh, but in general, we want it close to being centered and positioned um, roughly evenly between them. That allows us to give just a nice open sound. You'll notice that as I'm playing, there, um, in my right hand, there is a smooth, continuous line up from my wrist through my fingers. There are no points and angles. You'll see players oftentimes collapse down. Um, you'll also notice that I'm playing with my fingertips. Um, we want to make sure that we're not playing flat fingered, both because one, it just takes more work, um, we lose our agility, but two, that creates tension elsewhere in the hand. Similarly, in the left hand, you'll notice that it's a smooth, continuous extension from my elbow all the way up through the hand. You'll see players that, because the trumpet is heavy, uh, want to support it this way. We want to make sure that we keep it evenly balanced. Again, no angles in either the wrists, on the left or right hand, nice smooth curves, always thinking about that C and again, keeping posture straight and erect. <laughs>